Good morning, everybody. I'm trying to do this a little bit earlier today, as opposed to last week and week before, a little bit later. So, again, we're in a little bit of a pickle, because we have Bar Midbar for the people outside of Eretz Yisrael and people in Rome. And we have Nusso for those people taking score in Eretz Yisrael. And we have Shavuos. We have Shavuos that I think everyone has the same Shavuos day. Everyone's up the same Sphira. Last night was 48 for those taking score at home. Um, so, the truth is, Bamidbar Nusso, very similar, kind of leads. Bamidbar Nusso, Baloscha, kind of leads up until um, Shlach, I guess, Korach, leads up to uh, the, the bad stuff. But it's kind of a, a good procession. We're going towards good things. After the Jewish people are at Harsinai for about a, almost a year, it's time to move on. It's, it's ER, second year, they're moving on. And Jews are counted in this week's Parsha of Midbar. Moshe, Tifkot Osam, Moshe of Aaron. And the Preet Sadik brings down that there's two things that the counting represents. One of them is called Chayolin de Raisa and Chayolin de Mashkina. That is soldiers Torah, soldiers of Mishkan. That's what the, the Zohar says. A uh, Jewish person, is, there's two aspects of what we're trying to serve Hashem. Each person is counted, each person is, is Hashuv, that they learn Torah, and each person, Doraisa, and each person's Hashuv as a number is counted because that person is able to be a Mishkan and have Hashem Bisocham in them. And these are the two of the pieces that, um, that is alluded to when you look at the first Pasuk. That it says, Midbar Sina Ba'oa Moed. Shem says to Moshe, Midbar Sina Oa Moed. We all know, well, it says Midbar, Tarshvi, like a Midbar, no Olam Hazeh. But why say Oa Moed? If Hashem said to the people in Olam, say Oa Moed, say Midbar, what are the two the two aspects here? And the priest Sadak says, Ba'oa Moed is Mishkan, is that each person has this part of them that their ability to be Kadosh and be like a Mishkan and Kadosh that they can serve Hashem. And also, Midbar, Midbar Sinai. Each person gets the Torah by making themselves like a Midbar, meaning putting a lot of the extras in Olam Hazeh aside. Um, sac- Mesiris Nefesh, sacrificing for Torah, not spending extra time on Netflix and spending more time in front of a Sefer, davening. Uh, this week I had a, a chance to do one of those other, and I actually, you know what? I'm going to learn instead of being on Netflix so I kind of went to shul a little bit earlier, bought a safer. I'm like, okay, five, ten minutes, even that is, uh, you know, is, is, is a big deal. And being Mr. Snesh for Torah. So making yourself like a chayel, a soldier for Doraisa for Torah, and a soldier is part of a mishkan. And as we go through Bamidbar, we go through Nasso, um, we talk about, you know, counting of the Jewish people, counting of the Levium, and where they stayed, and all of the, all of the flags. In Nassau, it talks about three different Averos, that, or Tumos, excuse me, that kick somebody out of the Machina. And there's a Tsurua out of the Machina. There's someone who's a Zav out of the Machina. Your Tumme Mace out of the Machina. So I get that a person who's trying to have a Kadosh camp, a person has to be Kadosh. So if someone is Tumme or they're a Zav, they're a, they're a Mitzorah, they go out of the Machina, fine. But what's interesting is there's something called Gezel HaGer. And why is that part of it? Gezel HaGer, someone steals from a Ger. And you know, it's a mitzvah to return it. You you're steal something, you return it. That's how you do tshuva. What if the guy's a Ger? So there's a Ger, uh, he has no relatives, and then he dies. So you can't really do tshuva because I have to return the 50 shekel to that dude and he's dead and there's no relatives, there's no Yarshim, I give to the Kohen. So the Pritzavik says, this is actually a very interesting point of one of the concepts that we talk about all the time. Yidach mimenun nidach. So, Malachim Aleph, Yudalad, Yudalad, Shmuel Beis, Yudalad, Yudalad, that the wise one of Tekoa tells a whole story to David that her son's going to be killed, and David says, I will save you. And the woman says, 
unlike other things that are thrown away, water on the floor, a person's never pushed away. There's no, there's always a way back. And the woman convinced David to take back Avshalom. So Pritzalik brings this concept all the time of no matter what we did during the year, no matter what happens, there's no pushing away forever. There's one of the chesed that Rabbi also brings down, the Netzach Netzach Yisod. This is a part of a chesed of Hashem. Chesed of Yisod. That no matter what others we have, Hashem will we never, we're not pushed away. We don't deserve it, but there's a chesed from Hashem. And we're never pushed away. And Gezel Hager is a sign of that. Because you can do tshuva against Mitzorah, you stop all question hara, you're back in. Azav, whether you certain tithes you have, is a way to kind of fix that. Uh, Tame mace, you're not careful about uh, tuma, or if you kill someone, there's a way back from that as well, this tshuva. But sometimes there's, there's no way back, like Gezel Hager. Sometimes there's no way back. There's no way to do tshuva. And Avkadeh Kach, still, there is a way back. You give the money to a Kohen. And this alludes to, um, alludes to Chuba. It alludes to kind of never giving up hope, never giving up. Uh, for 49 days, um, hopefully, some of us, maybe a lot of us, worked on themselves, worked on the Midos, learned Pirkei Avos, learned more Torah for the past 49 days. And some people didn't. Um, a friend of mine says, you know, he didn't prepare enough, he didn't learn enough. Okay, you know what? We still have a way to get back, and that's what Shavuos is. You know, it's, there's never a moment that uh, is not too late. It's never too late. If you wake up Shabbos morning and say, you know what, I didn't learn a lot of Gemara, Shavuos, did I prepare? I didn't go to the mikvah, I didn't do anything. There's, there's never a, a place that you, you can't come back from. And it's this Ratzon, is Hashuka, that's very important to a Kaddish Baruch Hu, that the Yom Hazer, that the day that we look at, look at the day, that Mountain Torah, look at that day, it's so important, every day should be like Hayom Hazer, that really refers to the Jews going to Midbar Sinai, it's not really referring to Har Sinai, and it's only the willingness and the preparation, the willingness that people wanted the Torah, that led them to get the Torah, and one of the stories brought down, um, Maran, is a person who's gates to go through a certain amount of gates to get, see the king. And he's huge gates, huge doors. He's trying to open them up and he's pushing each one. And each one, he's having a hard time opening it. Finally, after hours of work and he opens up all the gates, he goes to the last gate with his key and it opens by itself. And the king is there. The king opens the gate for him. And the king, you, you worked hard to get to this point. I will complete the task for you. And so too, we have 49 days. But the Torah says, Tisbru Hamishum Yom, counting 50 days. So the Pritzavik says, Lukut uh, Maran says, that that's the Hashlama. If you work, if you try for 49 days, or no matter how long it is to get to that point, Hashem will complete the task. And hopefully, hopefully we've spent uh, from Pesach to now um, working on Amidos, working on Musr, learning Torah, uh, being part of Chabura. And we can get to Matan Torah in a pure, complete way. And no matter what we did the past year, whether we didn't learn enough, whether the Howard Dafyomi, we didn't go back to it, <laughs> we kept going. Uh, I mentioned mention names. Uh, no matter what we had the past year, if we're earnest and sincere and we want to approach Shvuos, Nasa Nishma, as a new day, we want to take upon ourselves to learn new things this year, we want to take ourselves to have new chadushin this year, new chavrusas, a new gishmak, a new chashuka for learning. Hopefully it's only mashlim, and hopefully in a year from now, we'll look back and we'll say that this was our, our best year of learning and our best year of being close to Hashem. Shabbat shalom, chag sameach.